view transitions in CSS allow you to essentially transition anything, right? Like we're, we're used to putting a transition on something and you can like transition the the width or the height or the opacity, you know? Um, but when you want to transition something from one spot to another, it's it's not always doable. So I, I built this right here, which is, this is woo. Can you, can you guess what this is right here, Scott? What do I think this is built in? I'm going to say yeah. view transitions. Yes, this is, <laughs> you got it right. So this is a grid of, I think, 20, 20 or so video elements. And and when I click on randomize, I'm essentially just randomizing their their place in the grid. The DOM, and yeah. In the DOM. Normally in the DOM, that would just be like an instant change over. But with view transitions, what you can do is you can give every single item a view transition name and then... You, you call it an API called document.startViewTransition. And what that will essentially do is it takes a snapshot of where it is. And then in the callback of that code, you, you apply some changes. In my case, you can add or remove classes. You can change the colors of things. In my case, I'm simply just shuffling the order of them in the DOM. 